Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today we have a first impression on Hip Dot. You guys, I told you that during the haul I was dying to try these and Rio won by a lot. Like you guys really wanted to see the palette Rio. So this is what the palette looks like here. And this is what we're playing with today. So we're just going to play around, see what we come up with test out the formula, give you guys my first impression, what I think about it, and as always, I will come back and let you guys know my thoughts after I use the palette thoroughly and let you guys know whether it's worth it or worthless. So I'm going to start out with this yellow shade right here. It's a matte shade, and it's called Ipanema. It has beautiful names to this one. Very, very pretty. They're all Brazilian-themed names. So we're going to... I'm twirling my brush, and I do have powder kick up on here, so... Just so you guys know, and look how much I'm getting on my brush, and we're going to put this on. Ooh. It's actually really, you can actually see that. For a yellow, that's actually pretty good. So it is pigmented, because I barely picked up any. So the formula seems to be pigmented. Right. I think I'm going to go in with Surf, which is this matte blue. We're going to put that in our crease. Holy moly, look at that. Wow. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is going to turn green right there. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to listen to my gut and invested in this company because, oh, you guys, I am loving this just by these two shadows so far. Wow. Holy moly. And that's just one time I just went like this. Bloop. I didn't even like roll my brush in. loving these and as always I'm gonna use the other palettes as well throughout this whole time so this might take me a little bit to update you guys on this first impression because I want to use all the other palettes at least a few times as well as this one just to see if the actual formula is throughout all of them or just certain ones are different so I'm definitely gonna give you guys a full review on this brand and palettes themselves so you're going to have to give me a minute to try all these out. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Okay, you guys, so now for the lid, I think I want to do palms, which is this glitter glue right here. Glitter glue. <laughs> the pressed glitter. So I'm going to use my finger. You know what? Let me do glitter glue first, just in case, because I am going to be stepping out with this look, because we caught another raccoon, and it broke the cage. So we have to go get another cage. That's my life. So I'm going to put glitter glue on my lid. And just spread this out, pat it in, and then we're gonna grab palms. Oh wow, yeah. I think these people are gonna think I'm crazy going out in glitter. Oh well. I'm gonna pat that on. This one doesn't feel as gel like as the pure one. This is like a lot of glitter. I barely have tapped my finger in the glitter and a lot comes on my finger. This one's more concentrated glitter. Wow. Holy moly. Mr. Man's gonna be like, um, where do you think we're going? <laughs> We're going to go uh, get a, a cage with glitter on my eyes. Go in with 
pump. Look, I barely put my finger in there. Holy cow. That is seriously concentrated. Now the moment of truth, I'm going to go back in with Surf, which was that blue matte shade right here. And I'm going to blend out the edges, pick up a little bit and just add this to the edges and blend and see if any glitter. I don't have any glitter fallout and it has to do with the glitter glue, I'm sure. We're going to, actually that did not, no glitter has fallen. Hmm. Look at that. Whoa. That's pretty neat. All right, for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do, hmm, I'm going to do this green right here. This one, it mixed these two, Samba and Amazon, which are the two greens. I'm going to mix them both and put them on my lower lash line. Very pretty. There is absolutely no fallout on any of these shadows on my face, which is amazing. Look how pigmented that is. 30 bucks for these eyeshadow palettes, and you get 15% off if you find a actual um, affiliate code, you guys. So far, I am in love. Wow. Absolutely no fallout on my face. No. None, you guys. None at all. So now I'm going to just go ahead and do my wing liner. I think I'm going to do a very small wing liner, lashes, mascara, and then we're going to come back and you guys can see the lips so you guys can see the final look all put together. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. As you guys can see, I had a little bit of the glitter fallout when I was doing just the liner on the top. I decided not to do wing liner just to show off the look. Um, I actually really like this so much. I really, really do. So I see that a little bit here. Uh, I left it a little bit bold up here and didn't put so much glitter in the inner corner portion just because I want to see if it travels that way when I blink and close my eyes because I do see a little bit already in my crease and I don't know if it's going to get any more in my crease throughout the day as I'm wearing this so I so far am loving it you guys first impression amazing amazing quality the colors blended relatively nice very pigmented not a lot of powder kick up but you still get some and it's 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 what I was hoping it would be. So I've used the yellows, the uh, greens, and the blues. So I haven't used any of the pinks or the purples, but you know I will. And then the two glitter glues here. I'll let you guys know how the glitter glue lasts. I'll try to use the glitter glue without... Oh my goodness, I keep saying glitter glue. The glitter pigments. I'll try to use the glitter pigments without glitter glue to share with you guys my thoughts on that as well. And then I will also play around with these while I'm at it. So give me about a week or two to play around with the rest of these so then I can get back to you guys with a full on review. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow with a new video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.